Welcome to the Pulmonary Function Lab. Today, you'll be performing a breathing test to measure your lung function. There are several parts to this test, though you may be asked to perform only some of these tests today. The tests require that you sit up straight in the chair with your feet flat on the floor. They also require the use of a mouthpiece so that the machine can measure the breaths through your mouth. The mouthpiece may feel uncomfortable, but it is very important to keep a tight seal with your lips to prevent any air from leaking and to get accurate results. A nose clip will prevent the air from leaking out of your nose. The technician will guide you through each step of each of the following tests. The first test performed is called a spirometry test. This test looks at your ability to breathe in and quickly force out all of the air out of your lungs. You will start with normal breathing. Next, the technician will tell you to take one very deep breath all the way in, filling your lungs completely. Then, you'll be asked to blast the air out as fast and hard as you can. You will need to continue breathing out until you're asked to stop, even if it feels like you have no more air left, until you're asked to stop and take a deep breath in. This next test is called the helium test. This test measures the maximum amount of air in your lungs and how much air is left after slowly breathing out. You will start by breathing in and out normally for several minutes. After a few minutes, you'll be asked to take a very deep breath all the way in, filling your lungs completely, and then slowly breathe out all the way until there's no more air left in your lungs. You will need to continue breathing out until you're asked to stop, even if it feels like you have no more air left. This next test is called plesmography, or a body box test. This test also measures the maximum amount of air in your lungs and how much air is left after slowly breathing out. This test requires that you sit in a glass box. The glass door will need to be closed for this test. If you get anxious in closed spaces, please let the technician know. You will start by breathing normally with your hands on your cheeks. After a few breaths, you'll be asked to take short, quick, and shallow breaths at a breathing rate of around one breath per second. At one point, the tube will be blocked for only a few seconds. It will become hard to breathe, and that may feel slightly uncomfortable, but keep going until you're told to stop. After a few seconds, we will tell you to return to normal breathing, then to breathe in all the way in, filling your lungs completely, and then to breathe out slowly until there's no more air left in your lungs. You will need to continue breathing out until you're asked to stop, even if it feels like you have no more air left. The final test is called the diffusion test. This test measures the ability for gas from air to travel through your lungs and into your blood. You will start by breathing in and out normally. After a few breaths, you will need to take a deep breath in, filling your lungs completely. Hold your breath for around 10 seconds. Then you will be asked to blow out all of the air out of your lungs, continue breathing out until you're asked to stop. 